Cabarrus rubber ducky were only discovered as recently as 2017, so they have not been in the hobby very long at all. They are found in limestone caves in Thailand. The rubber ducky is a very sought after isopod within the hobby. With their cute yellow duck-like faces, who can blame anyone for falling in love with them and wanting them in their collection? When keeping the duckies in captivity, it is best to try and mimic the characteristics that you would find the isopods living in in the wild, as closely as possible. This includes high humidity, which is particularly important for these, limestone, their food source and a deep substrate. The rubber duckies like to burrow down in the damp substrate to molt and hide and they spend a lot of their time buried and hidden. In their natural habitats, rubber ducky isopods feed on a variety of organic materials, including decaying fruits, leaf matter and animal sources. These are easy to provide for your isopods, using leaf litter, decaying wood, small amounts of chopped up fruits and veg, a form of protein such as dried shrimp or dried mealworms, and calcium, which they can get through their limestone, cuttlefish or tumbled oyster. Limestone is the best, as this is what they have in their natural habitats. The rubber ducky can be challenging to breed in captivity. They take longer to reach maturity than other isopods, and once mature, they can take a while before they start to breed. Once they do breed, their broods generally only have about 5-10 to 10 individuals, and their gestation period is around 60 days. Once mature, the adults reach around 2 centimetres. These are great little inverts to keep, they're fun to watch, exciting to see reproduce, and they complete any bioactive setup. Thank you for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.